Hello and welcome, I am a Midnight Gamer, and in this video I'm going to show you gameplay of 5 classic Commodore 64 games. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So the first classic gameplay I have for you is The Ghost and Goblins from 1986. Uh, this was just such a great game. It was a bit frustrating as well at times, but overall it was really good. So you got to avoid the zombies like that, which I didn't do there and then you climb up there and you've got to get that plant and it was always quite difficult to jump I don't know if it's just my, my joystick or anything at this moment in time that's playing up but I'm not getting really good action but that's what you're meant to do there see and you pick up that shield again these zombies just come out of the ground sometimes and they just completely surprise you so right I'm, I'm basically half naked oh nearly Okay, now there is something, I don't know what that is, but i uh, got to shoot it and kill it like that. And we can continue. Go over there. Now, I always fell into the water plenty of times, so there we go. Okay. Just jump over there. Now, this can be annoying sometimes, trying to get this in. <laughs> there we go. Jump right in the water. Okay, let's try that again. And what you do, avoid that, whatever that weapon is. It's kind of, I don't know what it's called, if it's, it's like fire. Um, and if you throw, if you get that, you're pretty much screwed. And these things throw poles at you. Uh, th this is it, really. You're, you're through when you beat, beat this, so you're on to the next level. And that's Ghosts and Goblins. And the next one is IK Plus from 1987. And uh, basically, th what makes this game interesting is that um, I mean, I'm the white and I've just been floored. Uh, what made this game really interesting is that there was um, three fighters. IK, well, International Karate, uh, only had two. So when you played two players or against a computer, it was only ever two. Now when you played two players, like two human players on this, you know, you still got the three players, so it, it was a very interesting game, uh, and I, I can't really remember any games at the time where you actually had three uh, fighters, and it made it interesting because you always had to watch your back like that. Um, so even if you were doing really well, <laughs> they just, how did they manage to do that? Anyway, that's okay for me because I'm slightly ahead, uh, and time's running, so I, I pass on to the next level just. Um, but yeah, and there we go. I think oh, th this was a this was a, a funny level. This was kind of a bonus level. You just have to deflect the balls off that paddle, uh, which you can do okay. And there we go. Another black one. No, nope, got yep, got that one. Am I getting? Oh god, that's I'm, <laughs> I've been hit. Uh, I must say as well, what I really do like about IK Plus is that not just the three people fighting, but you just have a look at the graphics in the background, you know, you've got uh, the sun, a kind of sunset, and you've also got, you know, the the ocean or the river. It's just really, really, really nice to look at. Obviously, you're not noticing it while you're getting uh, seven shades of crap beaten out of you. But, uh, yeah, this is a really enjoyable game and something that I always used to play and, 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 and always used to, to play it a lot. Uh, I'm still in, <laughs> uh, but it makes it such a classic uh, because of the three person fighting. And there we go, I'm gone now. Oh, they keep on knocking each other out, and they. <laughs> I'm trying to headbutt. Nah, the red. Nah, I'm out. Okay, so that was IK Plus. Match over, you go. Oh. I didn't enter the Hall of Fame. There we go. Next game is Operation Wolf, and that was from Ocean Software in 1988. Now, this was a really good game. Although, again, when I'm doing the gameplay, I've got a feeling my, my joystick isn't really responding as it, as it should. Um, so basically what you've got to do, you've got to shoot all these people and collect whatever is on the front, like you get uh, more ammo. So I'm just trying to shoot them all there. 
you get them appearing from everywhere. I do remember this game in the arcade, it was an absolute cracker in the arcade. Uh, there you go and... No. So you've got to avoid the nurses there as well, which half the time I always shoot them. Um, and again, I like, I, I love it with, with the tanks blow up and the helicopters blow up when you get them with the rocket launcher. Look, pick up that rocket launcher, and there's a big knife just stuck in me. Um, yeah, so, here we go, can we get, yeah, there we go, blow that up. See, that, that's satisfying. <laughs> when you, as a single person, can just blow up helicopters and tanks. I'm not doing too well on this. Um, Again, I'll get that dynamite. If we get that dynamite, blow everything up. Come on. There we go. Now, what's what's kind of annoying me is that I don't seem to be getting any energy scrolling down. You know, like an equivalent to days that would be a med pack. I don't seem to be getting anything like that, and my injury level is critical. So, if I don't get the energy, because there's another rocket launcher, rocket, that's fine. But I'm not getting energy, so I'm not going to last very long here. I normally do a lot better than this, but of course it's because I'm recording. <laughs> Always the way. Nah, I mean, there's more dynamite. Wait for it. Right, like, blow this up. I never blew the helicopter up for some reason. Ah, oh, can't. That's me. That's me gone, I'm afraid. Fatally, <laughs> fatal injury sustained. You are finished here. So, I'm no Rambo. Well, that's Operation Wolf, and that was a great game. I really did like that. Now, the next game is Power Drift from Activision from 1990. And there's a lovely guy doing that to you. Okay, let's pick a course and a rider. There we go, and let's go. Now, the, the, the annoying thing with Power Drift is that when you were racing, if you not, if you couldn't go around a driver, and you hit the back of him, you flew off the screen. On the people that you were trying overhead, ahead of you, or overtake ahead of you, sorry. And they didn't do the same thing. They were able to pass you easily, but you just kept on, you know, screwing up because of that. I mean, I, I when I used to play this game when I was a, when I was a kid. I used to, to be finishing first all the time. I don't know if it's over the years that I've just deteriorated in the, in the gameplay of Commodore 64 uh, and that, that, that games nowadays are so much more easier to play for a, for a length of time because all these games like, like Power Drift and Operation Rule of IK Plus and Ghost and Goblins, uh, they were all kind of, you know, quick pickup games where you can play for a while. But if you, you pick a game like this and then you put it up to like say a Skyrim or Wolfenstein, anything like that for the PS3, uh, or games like that, you know, you can play Skyrim for hundreds and hundreds of hours. You can only really play this for about 5-10 minutes before you kind of go, like, well I've had enough of that. There we go, I'm, I'm fourth. But I think that's probably the best I'm going to do because I'm pretty sure first, second, and third are way ahead of me. See, first has already finished the race, and second will probably any second now. And then it'll be game over when the third place finishes. Because I'm not going to catch it. There we go. I've just, I've just went off. <laughs> there we go. Game over. Anyway, that was that. Now this is Delta, and this is from 1987. Uh, this was a great space shoot em up and I had a, I had a bit of a pattern towards it, where you, you slid down here like this and, and you would shoot them, and then you would go up to the top and you would shoot the same thing and then you would go back to the bottom, uh, you know, etc, etc. So th this had a massive pattern about it. Uh, you used to collect the power-ups so y your ship can go faster or you collected other power-ups that, that meant that you shot more bullets or, or lasers or whatever you want to call it. I said it depended on what you wanted to do really. Uh, now I was never sure if you can actually kill this thing. You can shoot a bit, but it just kind of disappears so I'm not sure. But I meant it rocks at death stage too. 
I mean, it's pretty easy up until the first stage, and, and then it gets a bit more difficult. Uh, so I've got like three sets of bullets come out. <laughs> go, I can't shoot this. Oh, and that's where that was handy with that power up that I had more bullets. Or lasers, or whatever you want to call. Now, this was always a bugger to get past. Ah, uh, you could kill that. You, you basically had to avoid it. And what was difficult about it was that it, it fired, it fired uh, at you. And you had all those rocks around you. And things like that, even when you went back, you just slightly touched it near the end, you were dead. So, somehow get past it. There we go. And you just stay there, basically. There we go. Ah. Yep, so again I didn't go I didn't do all that so I never got a power up, I didn't kill all of them. And you can't kill that, you've got to avoid that, which is practically impossible. <laughs> but we'll get through it. Um, so there we go guys, that's my five gameplays of five Commodore 64 classics. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.